Cat's Lair, right? Like Cat's Lair is that's ridiculous. A monstrosity. Ridiculous. Like this thing is. Hang on. Gigantic. Here you go. Twenty nine. This is closed. Twenty nines. We'll say thirty inches. So we'll say two and a half feet by thirty six. So three and a half feet. Okay, we'll round up. That's it closed. But then when you open it, let's see if he has the dimensions on here. He does not. I feel but, like that thing's bigger than the G.I. Joe Command Center. Oh, it's massive. It's massive. I mean, it's it's definitely not the G.I. Joe uh, the aircraft carrier. It's not to that extent, no. but it's pretty damn. Actually, no, I think this might be bigger. I'm actually thinking about that. I've seen that in person. This actually might be bigger. Um, if to your point, yes, if this was cheaper, would more more of us buy it? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. But even at a cheaper cost, there would be that point where we're like, you know what? I'd love to have it, but where on earth am I going to put something that's damn near four feet by four feet? That's a know. play set. You know what I've been dying to get, and she won't let me. Uh, the Titanic uh, Lego, Lego. Yeah, where are you gonna put it? That thing is worth it. <laughs> yeah, I think Mindy it's might a, be right on this one. It's a, it's a family activity. Maybe again, your <laughs> Legos in general could be something as detailed as the Titanic. You got to wait till they're much older, and even then, they're not gonna give a crap. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's it's really more for me, but well, exactly. That, that, that's, that, like... that's that's the selling point, so they get it in the house. No, uh-huh. it is. Uh, I think it's marry a dumb it, blonde. She's not going to fall think, for it. I think it's fifty-five inches long. It'd be perfect on my my dining room table. <laughs> uh, and it's only yeah. shy of seven hundred dollars. Look, Look at that! You're getting way exactly. more than that. That uh, that last toy. Does it come with optional iceberg damage? Uh, so that's where you bring in? that. That's where you bring the kids in, and the creativity begins. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Have them actually, and yes, I know. The engines I'm going come out. <laughs> yep. Oh Dude, God. this thing's it's legit. Uh, Fifty-three inches. Yeah. 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 Five feet. Does it have the uh, the flood doors? Like how? Like how? There's seven hundred bucks. Oh, the water, water tight. The water doors, doors you know, probably. I would, I would imagine so. Mm-hmm. All right, I know I just made my joke. Isn't this a little morbid? Like this toy, I don't know. Why don't you make it one of the friggin' submarine too? I actually have a submarine in my garage. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was actually, uh, man. I guess I must have got it. It was junior high. Mm-hmm. My one of my cousins had it for years, and I actually they offered it back i couldn't believe the box was still intact the pieces so uh, i'm saving that one for the kids that one though it has noises too like it makes all the sounds and stuff it's pretty cool i love this picture this picture if those of you who are listening (laughs) this woman is like maybe there's a wine glass maybe it's a coffee cup i'm not sure but she has yeah i see that looking out the window in her she has a library in her house. This is how big this it place is. Like, she has a library. That, that, that looks like a French Renaissance library there. Right. And the t- Titanic is just chilling on a table. Definitely photoshopped in. And this is who can buy this thing. Because you need this kind of space. You need this kind of real estate. In That's exactly order. what she wanted on her yeah. table. Yeah, exactly. Like this, You know, yeah. they're actually trying to help you, Josh. They They made this picture so that when wives go in to the lego store with their husband and their kids and the husband's like i need to buy this they see it an actual display and they're like hey you know what i would love to have a library in my house but you know what also would look good in the library the nice titanic lego set like in the nice window vestibule area that's a nice spot that's a good spot that's a good spot for it yeah just need a couple mil just to get the house and then we'll get the lego because what's What's six hundred yeah, bucks? I got plenty of room. Plenty of room on my <laughs> island here. Uh-huh. Plenty of room. Yeah. 
uh, j just to be devil's advocate, maybe the wife was actually looking out the window where she buried the husband because he bought and built yeah, that toy. He bought the <laughs> like, yeah. He's you in, know, he's in the ground. He's in the ground and she's just watering the grass over him. Yeah, exactly. She's just like that son of a bitch. And now I can't move this thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mark does yep. agree. Uh, just submit some Legos for the iceberg damage. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's not me. It's my wife is the Lego nut. Oh, interesting. So Dave is in the reverse issue. Oh, I wish I had that problem. Well, but you see, Dave has it made because he has the Ghostbuster stuff and she has the Lego stuff. So neither yeah. one of them can get too mad at the other one when it's like, hey, hey, hon, new proton pack, a couple hundred bucks. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Because, hey, uh, Titanic's coming out with a Lego or Lego's coming out with a Titanic set. Definitely a couple hundred bucks. All right, cool. See ya. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Josh mm -hmm. doesn't have that going on. <laughs> right. Nah. Well, also to Patrick's point here, Josh does not have the house in Martha's Vineyard because that's where this is obviously, you know, a picture from. Yeah. Possibly. I was out there. It is beautiful, I will say. Yeah, look, it's, like, it's like, oh, yeah. Uh, She's like, oh, look, look, there's the rope. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the rope I tied around his neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And this section's where I'm going to put like the half of this, yeah. you know, this half of his body, and then yeah, you know, divvy up the rest of it over here, you know. And I keep his uh, pinky here so I have something of him close by. The rest is in the in the garden. Yep, I can fit the fingers watch, in this part here. Yeah. Watch that. That person is probably the one that actually designed that Lego. <laughs> Maybe hey, that's how I she mean, got this house because be. there's people out there who yeah. are like, I'm not going to be a bitch. I'm buying this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of thought. I, I tell you, the instruction booklets are amazing. What house? Better is this? than I, better than yeah, I care. Seriously, <laughs> that's why it's seven hundred bucks because they had to, uh, they had to rent Jeez. this huge house for the photo shoot. Yeah, how did you know? How did somebody, unless they know their demographic, but how did somebody in marketing say, "All right, we need to make, you know, photo assets to sell the Lego set." All right. We got to put it in a place in a house that's relatable. So when people buy this, they're like, yes, it would fit in my house in this section of the house. Who the fuck was like this giant staircase outside my library is the the this is this is what's relatable to the average person. They could have just went to the museum at the museum at our college and it would have been perfect for it. I thought that, too, actually. I was like, at that point. Just say you live in a museum, a.k.a. a fort in the Bronx, and that's where you're going to put it. Yep. Insanity. Insanity. Sure. I did meet a guy that um, came into my store back when I worked in uh, another store, still for my company, but different store, a more wealthier part of town. Came in. And he had a, a Lego bag, and I was like, oh, what did you, you know, pick up? And he's like, oh, I went and put my order in for the Millennium Falcon. And I was like, oh, that's sick. I was like, I, I saw people build that online. Looks dope. Where are you going to put this thing? And he's like, well, I'm here to make a purchase because I told her if she let me buy that, I'll buy you one of these things. But I'm also going to go after here to a furniture store because I heard there's one that – has a coffee table with like this giant cavity in the center that there's glass on top of. And he's like, I think dimension wise, it could actually go in there. And then the glass cool. part of the coffee table can go on top of it. And I was like, so it's not right. actually inter it's not interfering with space. It's enclosed. Nope. Yep. And it's a functional table. Yep. All right. Yeah. You just gotta have the wife. That's a, that's a sci-fi or a, a fan of, you know, Star Wars or that well, type of stuff. Arguably, the purchase that he made for her was three times the amount of that <laughs> Falcon. But so otherwise. what you're saying is, I got what you're saying is, I got to find something that's three times the value of the Titanic. Yep. Or Mindy. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. So I already and, got the Peloton. And buy her a, a mansion. I mean, that's not three times the price, though. Uh, no. Maybe if I just build, well, you maybe if I just build myself a little like playhouse. I'll just put it in you there. Might well. You might as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put it in the garage. I can do it. The garage is my domain, so I could do it in there. True. Well, yeah. And you know what? While you're building stuff, remember, 
expand that bunk you made under the stairs for the kids, and that's yes. where you're going to live. Yes. Yeah. It's comfortable. 